Hey, and Austin. Thanks for meeting us today. Yeah. 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 Um, great to have you. I know um, we've been, I've been excited to see how the deal's been worked out so far um, between Discount and Hawkins. Um, and we really are interested in a long term relationship with you guys. So I'm excited about that. Um, I know we both have um, some concerns with the use assignment and sub subletting clause. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to just go straight into that with you. Um, and start by asking, really, so we both made some initial um, recommendations on that, and I wanted to know why does Discount want that proposed option, that their proposed clause for the use assignment? Yeah, um, you know, mainly we want the freedom because, you know, we're, we're a big company. Uh, we've got over 200 locations, you know, what we're doing, um, you know, and, and the company saying that we have um, is you know the lion gets the lion's share, mm -hmm, um, yeah. and we just we just think that it's fair that because we are such a big company, we're going to be bringing in probably the most foot traffic for them all. We think it's fair that we have that freedom for the premises, and I mean the the economy is going up, it's going down. Um, you know we we're probably going to introduce some new products. Uh, we're going to test some things, maybe bring in some complimentary vendors, okay. uh, and things like that. So okay, and so the purpose of that would be. To just, accomplish. Yeah, I mean, to, to boost uh, discount sales, improve its growth, not just for that, but also for the mall. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I understand that point. So, I think um, for, for Hawkins, um, our cons only concern with that is just that really it, our concern is with the the satellite tenants and um, lenders and things like that, um, just because if things are super flexible, that kind of gives leaves a lot of risks on them, um, and we don't and we want uh, to make this a good relationship for all with everyone that's involved with this project. So, um, yeah, do you have any questions about that? So, are, are you talking like? Um like direct competition of like products or yeah direct competition okay. and i mean if you guys yeah so direct competition is is a concern um and then also i mean if like are you inferring with this that you would if you decided to that you would end up leasing all this space to other vendors and going somewhere else right. or you you know more than anything um we're just kind of looking to bring in complimentary vendors in the sense like maybe name brands that kind of boost, um, you know, the, okay. the productivity of it. And, and what I mean by that, it's like, for example, like Macy's, they generally have like Sephora's and things like that in there. Mm -hmm. um, and we sell like houseware stuff. So we've had um, like Rachel Ray come in and we've had, so you know, they've had corners like that. And generally mm -hmm. it's about a quarter of the premises. And that's what we would like is to get a fourth of the, okay. the premises to use. Um, and you know, we're not looking to squash the little guy. We don't want to, okay. to crush the satellites. We, uh -huh. we, we understand, you know, we <clears throat> discount started out as a little guy at some point as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so we, we're not going to be in direct competition. We don't really okay. want to do that. Cause we understand that if you crush the small guys, especially in this case, mm -hmm. you know, they're paying you rent. And if we drive them out of business because we're selling products that are competitive, then you're not going to get paid rent. And if you don't get paid rent, then, I mean, the, the mall may even go under, you know, and if you go under discount, it doesn't have a, a spot. Uh, so we understand that we're willing to play ball, but we just, we need some freedom. Okay. And in the past, with your past projects, how have you, um, you know, mitigated that risk for the satellites with the, with the businesses that you have brought in? Uh, yes, good question. Um, you know, more than anything, it's just, like I said, we, we just avoid being too competitive, we don't want to squash the little guy. We try and stick to our roots, but if we need to bring in um, some new products, if we're thinking about bringing some new products in that are a little bit outside the soft goods spectrum, um, we just we do our best to make sure that it's not, you know, too too competitive in the sense that it's going to drive other business. So. Uh, okay, okay, that makes sense. And I, I do, I mean, we do like the idea of bringing in other name brands and growing growing them all too. So yeah. that's obviously something we're interested in. So um, I think there's something we could work out here. Um, 
Yeah, I guess. Um, what would you suggest um, as far as, like like I said, we would like to get about 25% uh -huh. of the stone that we could use uh, for subletting purposes. Mm -hmm. What would you suggest that would be fair um, for, for you guys, for the satellites, as well as for us? As, yeah. As far as like okay, good question. So I think the main thing for us is we would like to be involved with that process as far as just being aware of who you're going to be looking at and selecting um, and making sure that that is not competing too much with the with the tenants that we have. Okay. Um, I, th I think that that's um, definitely a fair thing, you know, uh, like mm -hmm. I said, we don't want to squash the little guy. So I'll tell you what, if, if we can get uh, a fourth of the premises to be used for our discretion as far as uh, complimentary vendors go, um, and, and have you involved in the process as so it could either be you personally or a member of your team um, involved in that process of vetting the vendor, finding out what they sell, make sure it's not direct competition, then I definitely think that we are taking a big step forward to making this agreement. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Yeah, I think if we if we were able to do that, I don't see that being as a problem okay. for us. Um, I think it would be good to do maybe talk about specifics with that. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, that would be something we would be interested in. Okay. Um, and you know, I, I did mention, and just because this is kind of following along the same lines, um, we do as a company, we do like to test things out in individual regions and stores before we launch it out nationally. Yeah. Um, and we are looking at introducing like uh, home appliances. Okay. So like small fridges, uh, maybe some washers, dryers, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and we're, we're really looking to test it out in this store. Um, is that something that you guys are gonna be okay with? So the only thing with that is I guess, um, I mean, that's a little different than your product mix right now, right? Do you guys have satellites that sell dishwashers and things like that? Um, we don't currently have satellites that sell that, so I guess the only thing would that would be was just balancing out. You know, is that attracting the same crowd? Does that make sense to fit in the mall? Does that does that? Yeah, yeah, sense? no, I, I think that's fair. Um, I, I don't think that it's going to detract um, really from the crowd. It might just increase a little bit of diversity and maybe the you know the sense that it might bring in some people who are looking for home appliances. Okay. Um, and like I said, I can't imagine that you guys have. I mean, I, I guess you could, but I can't imagine you guys have satellites that have, you know, fridges in the middle no. of the, the mall there. <laughs> no, um, we don't. So, I mean, so it's... you're thinking of... Yeah, yeah. And, and, you're thinking of introducing. Mm -hmm. and how long do you guys... Uh, like, is this like a perm permanent introduction? Is it just yeah, it's, it's it just, it just depends. Yeah, like you said, okay. it just depends how it performs. Um, and it, you know, I, I doubt, because we're looking at a 25-year contract, I doubt this is going to be the only thing that we, we yeah. test out. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm totally cool, and I think that it's fair, just like having you involved with the process of finding, you know, mm -hmm. a, a vendor. I think it's fair that if we are going to come up with a, a different product, um, I will run that by you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you and I can sit down and, and talk about it. And if it's something that you think is going to be in direct competition, um, then, you know, we can try and hash it out. If it's not going to work, then we'll just figure something out. Okay. Um, but I, I think that that's a fair trade there. Okay. Okay, I would agree. Okay. Um, you know, and, and the last thing that's that's kind of a big concern for mm -hmm. discount is in the unlikely event that discount doesn't perform well, um, mm -hmm. as we're forecasting it to, we want the ability to sell the lease ourselves rather than having you sell it. Um, because the more parties that are involved, the longer it takes. Um, okay. So if, if discount's in a bad financial place and we're under a financial thumb and we need to get out from under it as soon as possible, it's much easier for us to sell that lease than it would be someone else. And what's, I guess, the purpose of that to just speed up that process? Yeah, I mean, to save money, because if we're, if, if the process of, of us selling it could take us a week to a month uh, versus a process of going, you know, through multiple parties or whatever, taking mm -hmm. six months, that could be tens of millions of dollars that we'd be losing. Um, yeah, I understand that. Um, again, it is, gonna, it is important for us to be involved with that. 
as well. Um, I mean, ultimately, we would, we would like control of that too, um, because a change in whatever that anchor retailer is mm -hmm. is really going to affect the rest of the mall. Um, as far as like who it's bringing in, the customers are bringing in, and uh, so let's see, is there? I mean, is there anything we could work out to where we're involved with that process and it's still, we still do it in a timely manner or? Um, yeah, mean, you know, I think that if we can make it so, you know, we've got control, ultimate control of it, um, but like as soon as I get with that we're thinking about, you know, selling the lease, I will contact you and I will let you know that. That way you can start looking for viable candidates to replace us. Okay. Likewise, us, if we can sit down and we can just kind of discuss a few of the candidates that we think would be a good replacement um, and just do that in a, as, as quickly as possible in the sense that if if we do need to get out from under this lease, that's like your guys' top priority is helping us get out. Yeah, I think that would be fine. And as long as, uh, I mean, we, if we could both bring recommendations and talk about right. it to find the best replacement, then that's not going to be a problem. Okay. So. Well, I, I think that if, if you're good with everything we've talked about today, I think that we've got a deal. Yeah. All right, perfect. Thanks, Great. Ashley. Thanks, Austin.